verse 4 of chapter 2. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Now, I mean, it's like, their world, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there wasn't anybody from China or, or okay. you know, South America, but, you know, still in, in their broad world. And then verse six, now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are these not all these which speak Galileans? They knew, like, these guys don't speak all our languages. These, these are just regular Galileans. How do we hear every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? And then the next few verses list a whole bunch of different nationalities. And, and it basically goes from east to west here. But the point here is these were from all over the place. And they all spoke different languages. And they heard the apostles speaking in their own, it's, no, it's like they had like, you know, those headsets on, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. That they were hearing, but, but they didn't. And, and, wow. and so it was, everybody knew it was miraculous. In verse 12, they were all amazed, but were also in doubt saying like, what, what does this mean? And some said that they're full of new wine, like they're drunk. drunk. Uh, I like a few <laughs> verses later, they say it's only nine o'clock in the morning. Like, <laughs> like, like, they, they, they can't be drunk. But clearly then, and then Peter gets up and, and talks about how the spirit will come upon them. But this is a really important moment in the early church. And the way that I like to think about this is that this is God sort of reversing the curse of the Tower of Babel. Okay. Remember, so the Tower of Babel is the people come together, they wanna to get to God on their own, mm -hmm. right? And, and so God, divides and separates the languages. Here, what God is doing is, now these are people who are trying to be reconciled to God through Jesus Christ. What does God do? He heals the division of all those languages, right? This is him through the Holy Spirit, sort of reversing that curse mm -hmm. that, that, that came upon the, the earth. So I think it's so beautiful the way that we see this, and this is gonna prepare them. Uh, it's, it's kind of a hint or a kind of signal, like when I say go out into all the world, I mean it. And he's gonna prepare them through the spirit to, to do this. I, th I think it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm.